Let us quickly try to see what are methods in Go. So on my screen, I have some very, very simple piece of code. Uh, we are declaring a struct called person, which will have two fields, name of type string and age of type integer. Then we have a main method, which declares a variable of type person and then assigns some values to the fields within this struct. Uh, so name is James and age is 25. And then we simply print the variable P. Uh, so here we can also see the output P is equal to name. Uh, P is equal to a struct person where the name field has a value of James and the age field has a value of 25. Now I have defined one more function here, which is called details, which takes an argument of type person. And within this function, we are printing the name as well as the age, which is within this person variable. Uh, let's try to run this program as well. And we see that James as well as 25 gets printed going to line number 13. So what you're seeing on your screen right now is called a function. What we'll do next is convert this function into what is called a method. And what is a method? A method is simply a function which is executing within a known context. Uh, confusing, is it? So let me show you. Uh, so I will simply get rid of this argument person p from here. And then what I'll do is I will place the exact same argument here. And at the place where I was calling the details function, I would simply say p.details. And when I try to run this program, well, we see that we have the exact same output as we were having before. So what did we just do here? Instead of having details as a standalone function, which receives an argument, of type person, we define details as a method on the type person. This allows us to make a call of the form p.details and the function details is always aware of the context in which it is called. In this case, the context being the variable p, which is a struct of type person in which the value of name is James and age is 25. So since the method details is aware of its context, when we ask it to print p.name and p.age, it does that without any problems. So just to reiterate, details is an example of what we call a method since it has been defined on a particular type, which in this case is the type person. And the type person in this case is the receiver of the method detail. All right, what I want to do next is simply change the value of the name field in the variable p. So let us call it new name. And when I try to run this program again, we see that for the output within the details method, p.name gives us a value of new name. Whereas once we return to the main function, the name field within the variable p is still the same as it was declared before calling the details method. Uh, now, why is this happening? Uh, this is because p is simply a value receiver and not a pointer receiver. Or you can also say that p here is being passed by value and not passed by reference. But what if we actually did want to pass p by reference to this function? Uh, well, that's very simple. Simply change the person to a star person. And when I try to run this program again, okay, so we see that changes that are made to the variable p within the details method are also reflected in the main method as well. And why? Because this time the details method has a pointer receiver and not a value receiver. Now, where would you like to use pointer receivers and where would you like to use value receivers? Well, you should use pointer receivers wherever you want to change some values within the type on which the method is being called, as well as you should know that pointer receivers are a little bit more effective because there is no copying going on on the hind side as it is in case of value receivers. So there are just a few things we should know about methods. 
what happens when we try to call the details method without the variable p when i try to run this we see that details is undefined that's because details is not a function it is a method which is defined on the type person and it has no existence on its own so it should always be called with a variable of type person and if i run this again we can see that in this case it works also make note of the fact that methods can receive arguments as well uh, so i know that uh, this argument has nothing within this method but um, i have shown this example just for the sake of illustration uh, we see that we get the same outputs and besides this methods can return values as well um, so if i return a zero from here and the call would be the same if i run this program Yes, we see that there is no problem with the execution of the details method in case it starts taking any arguments or starts returning some return values. So that is all about methods, guys. All of the code that we just saw here has been updated in this GitHub repository, aedorado slash learning go, and the file name is methods.go. So please do check it out. And if you like the content of the video, please do hit the like button. If you like the content of my channel, please click subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates. And like always, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you very soon in a brand new tutorial.